New format alert. Welcome to Climate Quickies, bite-sized nuggets of climate goodies from our TED experts in under five minutes. This week, we're hearing from Dee Woods, our fave knowledge broker, community chef, and food policymaker here at TEDx London. We originally learnt from Dee about how to be a global food citizen, but this week we wanted to resurface a previously unshared clip on how being disconnected from our environment can stop us having a close relationship with food. Dee explains how this disconnect is causing a food apartheid where you live in a place that you can get food but no fresh ingredients. The good news is that Dee's got a solution. If we shop hyper-locally from growers, market gardeners or farmers and cut out the middleman, we can start to overcome the issues of economic inequality and systemic racism that permeate our national food systems. So over to Dee to tell us more. Enjoy and stay curious. A lot of it has to do with economics. It's about money right. um, and food is seen as a commodity and doesn't have all those values that I spoke about earlier. And we need to move beyond that and value food for what it is, you know, as mm. something essential to life. So how can someone write or a group of people write an agricultural bill and only mention food once. So why mm. why are you farming if not to produce food to f- feed people? Mm. <laughs> Just to make pretty, yeah. pretty flowers. Um, <laughs> yeah. and actually, I, I love that you brought economics into this. This is my last question. I just, because I think one of the conversations around food as well, around, you know, buying local and buying this food is that it's expensive, right? Like that's the way it's marketed at us. Like if you want to buy food that is, you know, I don't know, like, it feels like a luxury. It feels like it's going to be expensive. Right. Is that true? Fresh herbs. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. It's not expensive. That's what we've been sold. Hyper local food, as I I refer to it. If you have that direct link to a grower, market gardener or farmer, then you cut out all the other costs. And it makes it that much affordable, Mm. right? Cheap food is what is killing us, right? Our food is being subsidized elsewhere and prices being kept artificially low, but also in fact that we're exploiting people. So people are producing our food elsewhere and not being paid a proper wage or they don't have a living income. Um, mm. And we still have slavery within our food system. Mm. Between migrant workers right here in Europe to children in Africa and South America on cocoa plantations. It's like there's certain companies and certain products I will not touch because knowing that. But mm. we turn a blind eye to that because yeah. it's cheap or I like it and you know and we, we need to be thinking beyond that now thanks for listening to this quickie this episode was created by our usual superstar podcast team and supported by TEDx London's headline partner City until next time stay curious stay curious